for me, the trigger point is national security law, because it, it is no more respect on freedom of speech, even human rights. So uh, I think it is, Hong Kong is not a safe place anymore. It makes us think there's no hope for Hong Kong. Situation is deteriorating, and I, I, I just simply didn't see any uh, positive change in the future. If my kids is still educated in Hong Kong, well, hopeless then. And we don't want our children um, grow up in such a country. I would describe myself rather active in the uh, movement in Hong Kong in 2019. If I return to the city, um, probably I would face charges of seduction or collusion with Hong Kongers. I quit my job uh, and pack everything in just um, two, three days. I just escaped from Hong Kong. I smell the, you know, the air in Heathrow Airport. I, I, I felt freedom. Although in the future, I don't know too much, but I, I just feel a relief. Currently, uh, the situation in UK is in tier five lockdown. So uh, there are a lot of things that we cannot do. And it, that is not an easy time for us. Uh, I expected. Uh, because pandemic and other reasons, uh, we can't find job easily. And uh, maybe I have used my saving. Yeah, that is prepared. I'm optimistic on this. Ever since I arrived here, I can't get myself the national insurance number. So without such a number, and basically no employers would be willing to employ me, uh, and that put myself in a very difficult situation. So I. Uh, only got less than 900 pounds in my pocket. Uh, so, in no way I would be able to apply for the uh, BNO visa. I got myself now trapped in a sort of limbo. I felt there's no support so far ever since arriving. No support, nothing. There's a difference between culture, tradition, language, food. I said we, we just learn to be embrace it. This country is so welcome to different kind of people. I have a good feeling about this country. We just want to get ourselves back, make my, our, our lives back again, get on our own feet again. We're not asking for social benefits. We're just asking to have a right to work here. Just be prepared. There's, there's, of course, there's a difficulty. Like what I said, job, uh, accommodation, different culture, different language. But at the same time, there's a, a lot of opportunity as well. Uh, I will not discourage them to, to come over here, but I think they need to make a very prudent decision. If people are, in, you know, genuinely involved in the movement and they are facing persecution or potential persecution, then I think they should leave. But for those who have, you know, haven't uh, actively participated in the movement, I think they need to make a prudent decision. <laughs>